Salute to everybody for just now coming in. Y'all hit the like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about TK Kirkland. Um, for you guys that know who he is or do not know who TK Kirkland is, he's a comedian. You know what I'm saying? This brother's, um, he's up there in age. He's been around the com comedy industry for a very long time. This is a brother to sit down when he have conversations. He talked with a lot of wisdom. He talked with like an unbiased opinion about different things. And, and a lot of times it just seems as though like if you're a guy that's younger than a TK Kirkland, you know, it's a brother that you'll sit around and listen to like an uncle or, you know, just someone with, you know, just a, just a fresh perspective. And this perspective you know, right here, this is something that I spoke about. If I'm not mistaken, it was maybe maybe five or six contents ago. I talked about the importance of us, you know, everybody collectively getting life insurance and, you know, just, you know, worrying about life after your transition. One thing about it, everybody don't want to imagine life when they're no longer here. You know, it's like we want to live forever, but at the end of the day, we know it's coming. But too many people don't prepare for um, securing their family and making sure they did all they could while they were here and at the and at the time of their demise. You get what I'm saying? So when you see a brother like A.J. Johnson and his wife came out and started a GoFundMe and asked for money and actually seemed like she pretty much got irritated when uh, people wasn't contributing to the GoFundMe page. And she said some things along the lines of she didn't understand why people weren't supporting him. Uh, or helping with 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 his burial, you know what I'm saying? So she asked for twenty thousand dollars to begin with, and after she put out this big message and it went viral, it went up to like forty thousand, and now it surpassed fifty thousand, so on and so forth, which is good. You know, blessings to his family. If he's unable to bury himself, I'm glad that everybody could contribute to try to do what they can to help this brother who has done so much in the, in the comedy world and just in great movies that he put out to you know get people laugh, so on and so forth. I'm glad that the world had the heart to try to contribute to his burial. Now, outside of that, T.K. Kirkland dug a little bit deeper, and he talked about how, you know, we have to we have to really focus on, you know, burial funds and, you know, life insurance, so on and so forth. And he went a little bit deeper, and I'll get into his clip, but me personally, this is something that I that I was adamant about as well, because I feel as though too many times, and I'm, and I'm speaking to myself and you guys, you know, too many times we, we look at life like, you know, we'll live forever. We know, we know we're going to transition, we but as though... Um, we don't prepare for the afterlife. You know, too many times we take care of everybody we love while we're here, but what about the children? What about your loved ones when you're no longer here? You know what I'm saying? And that's when you have to start preparing yourself for wheels. That's when you have to start preparing yourself for trust funds. That's when you have to prepare yourself for life insurance, burials, so on and so forth. And it's just very important. I don't care how successful a person is, if they don't have everything intact for when they're no longer here, the money went for nothing. You know, you see people in your family start to feud over what belongs to them or what belongs to this person. We want to put everything intact or we need to start to put everything intact so our children are know this is yours. Or I want you to get this X amount of money at this age or if you complete college or if you complete a trade school or whatever it is that I, that I see forth in your life or I see the path you was chasing, I want you to finish what you start. So it's like, I'll give you this at that amount of time and that at that age and that at this uh, accomplishment. You know, these are the things that we need to start to put in place. But too many times we don't do that, especially in our culture. You know, we don't think about, you know, setting up our children's credit. So when they turn 18, they already got a jump start on everything. We don't think about when life is over for us to put our children in position so they're not fighting over, you know, uh, dad's watch or dad's this, like, you know, just like small things in life. You know, we don't set up it to our children. No, this is yours. This is your house. This is your land. That's important. So when I see the brother TK Kirkland go viral for, or, you know what I'm saying, started making his rounds for just his advice to everybody in our community and beyond to start to worry about and focus on the burial. And he actually even... Um, gave you some numbers you can call that can help fund it, such as the PPP loans and things like that. You've seen people help fund them with their rent and help fund them with money and so on and so forth. He, he had the same thing when it came to the burial of a person because he said the GoFundMe is kind of embarrassing in a way. I would have to agree with this, brother. When you need to help, you need to help. There's nothing you can do about it. But it's up to us to try to position ourselves so our family don't have to scavenge around and try to figure out how, how can they bury us. Talk about the insurance. Listen, for years, telling you guys about life insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it easy for y'all. If you can't get life insurance, get burial insurance. Do not put your loved one in a position to go for, to do GoFundMe, to ask for a handout. And the person who even asks for a handout, that person should even be embarrassed asking to help as well. Your bad planning should not be my emergency. I want you to remember this every time after this interview. Every time somebody dies, you're supposed to get your act in order. It's a reminder mm. to let you know one day this is going to be you. Yeah. And do you have your house in? So, order? yeah, man, salute to that, brother. Like you say, man, those are the tough conversations that we don't have enough. Um, we need to have those conversations not only with our family members, but 
you know, first and foremost, it's most important to have with your family to have your house in order and to have your, as that brother say, your house in order, but have your, you know, everything put in place to which where everybody have understanding that if it's no longer me, this is how things should be in place. This is where you should go. Um, this is what my life insurance is through. To prepare itself. everybody that you love most about, you know, everything when it's involved in you. If you're no longer here, this is how everything should be ran. This is what I expect. This is where you can go get policies from and so on and so forth. So everybody have a clear understanding as to, you know, at the time of your demise or your transition, everybody knows what happens next. Too many times when we lose someone, we don't know what happens next. How many times have you heard people say, man, I don't know what I'm going to do now when they lose a relative, when they lose a mother or father, or, you know, whoever was helping them with bills and so on and so forth. I don't know what I'm going to do now. You know, this person was doing this and doing that. You know, you got to be able to prepare yourself for the afterlife, right? So I say all that to say, man, not only should we have it with our family members, we should have it collectively as content creators, as casual viewers. You guys engage with all these different pages and, you know, people engage in a lot of the negativity, but this is real life right here. This is the conversation that we really need to have and so we can all inspire and teach each other. Like, you know, if I can get on here right now and tell you guys that I got whatever policies in place, you guys may go do the same. Or if you guys get in the comment section, tell me some different policies that you have in place and you... And I, they may inspire me to look into it. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, that's that's why I always say each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. It's just about the real things in life. We can inspire each other to do it, whether that's business, ownership, or afterlife, so on and so forth. We need those things amongst each other. Too many times in our, in our community, we don't talk enough about the things that truly matter. We sit around and talk about our latest celebrity. We talk about gossip. We talk about NBA football touchdown. We talk about all this stuff that really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's just a sport. But the real things in life, you know, the things that our children is going to suffer from if we don't prepare ourselves, if we don't prepare them for times when we're no longer here, our children will suffer. Our, you know, our loved ones, the ones that we do for right here, as I am today, I can take care of anybody that I truly love. You probably can take care of anybody that you truly love. Whoever you can take while you're here because you can always go get it. You can always go get the money. Whatever it is a person needs is tangible, it's touchable. You can go touch it. You can go make it happen for them. But when you're no longer here, then what? Who do they call? Who do they turn to? You know what I'm saying? So that's why these things are important. Those conversations are important to be had. And it's good to see uh, a black man having that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because it good just shows day. us that, you know, not everybody is asleep. Not everybody. And just because you don't have it right now today don't mean you sleep. I'm sure it's a lot of people that don't have a policy, don't have life insurance. You know, we don't have you know, different things in place as, as individuals because we, we learning every day and we, and we inspiring or aspiring to do different things and try to be the best version of ourselves, both alive and transitioned. But at the same time, there's no time better than the present. Anytime you get the money, you feel like you can afford it. A lot of times policies is not even that, it's not even that expensive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just have to take the time to do it. We have to take the time to do our research, have to take the time to look into the policies that can best suit us, best suit our children, our loved ones. So, um, everybody will be set. Or at least everyone will be, you know, able to cope with your transition a little bit better than versus you transition and they already heard about that. Now they have to figure out who's going to help them bury you and then figure out life without you. That's a whole lot to put onto your family. So I encourage us all talking to myself, talking to you. I encourage us all to inspire each other to do different things so we can elevate each other in our own individual ways. Because I mean, let's really be honest. It really is embarrassing for your family to have to let's let me let me take a step back before i go forward if you need the help it is what it is you got to bear your loved ones one way or another you know what i'm saying and it's important to make sure they get a a beautiful send-off but it, it's slightly embarrassing to be able to um live a full life and it's like throughout your process of living in between that dash you didn't find a way to think about how can i position myself to one when i'm not here my family don't have to go scavenging around to try to make sure um in the way in which where they feel like I deserve, right? It's it's embarrassing for your family. It's embarrassing for you to have to leave your family behind and try to figure out how can they send you off in a better way, right? So it's about it's about positioning ourselves to which where our loved ones can just embrace us, celebrate us, and be happy. You know what I mean? Uh, continue to preach ownership, man. Continue to pre preach uh, uh, good health. Let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we think. Let's change the way we talk to each other. And let's continue to grow, right? Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about TK Kirkland and what he had to say about the importance of life insurance and these different things in which where these are the conversations that we've been having on this page. If you guys can look back on previous content, these are the conversations we have over here. And I and I really want to continue to have those because I feel like 
these are the conversations that many people don't talk about because there's no negativity in it. You know what I'm saying? Negativity sells, you know, destruction sells, you know. But too many times, these type of these conversations, type of conversations that don't involve money and involves the betterment of you and your future or you and your family, you and your loved ones, these are the conversations that we really got to start holding each other accountable about, in my opinion, right? So love to you all, man. I'll talk to you all soon. Respect.